Hello everybody, my name is Tony Darnell from deepastronomy.space and in this video I am going to show you how to align your Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope with the night sky using Skyline, which is a software feature that is built into the telescope that lets that makes it easy for you to find objects if you even if you've never been out under the night sky before. Now before we go outside and use this feature, this video is going to assume that you have already entered in the date and the time and you've put in the latitude and longitude into the keypad so that the telescope knows where it is. It needs to know where it is and it needs to know when it is. So this video is going to assume we've already done that. I have created a setup video for this telescope so you could refer to that on how to get all of that stuff set up. All right, well, let's just take it outside, turn it on, and let's start aligning it with the night sky. All right, so now I am outside in my back uh, property here with the Celestron 5SE, Nexstar 5SE telescope. I have, I mean, I'm going to show you how to use the Skyline feature that's on here. Now, I'm out here, it's January 8th, and I've got this light in my face. So I'm going to just sort of keep the telescope set up here and then do some alignments with stars over in the north. That's my northern sky right over there. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And the first thing you've got to do once you've done that is it says when you first turn it on, press enter to begin alignment. So we're going to push enter. It's asking me what method I want. I'm going to pick sky align. So now it is 23, 31, 23, 31. So I enter the time, and I, I, it's, the sta it's standard time. The date is still there, January 8th, 2019. And now I'm ready to start aligning. I've already told it when I was in the office, my latitude and longitude, and that's very important. Um, if I were you, I would learn how to very easily get your lat and long from your smart smartphone and enter it in here if you move around a lot because you really do need the latitude and longitude of where you are they make an accessory that you can purchase a gps accessory it doesn't come with this, this scope that will automatically get that information for you if you can afford it absolutely get that thing because it is a pain to always have to enter in your time uh, but at least i only have to enter the location once but if i move i've got to do I've got to do it again. So, um, okay. So now what we've got to do is we are going to pick three stars. We don't even have to know what they are. In fact, I can't even see the night sky right now because of this light in my face. So I'm going to just pick three stars up here and I'm going to pick a triangle of one over here, one over there, and one up there. And then we're just going to enter in those three stars. I'm not even going to tell you the names because I don't know what they are except for Polaris. I'm going to choose Polaris as one of my stars. Okay. So the way we move it is with this keypad here. We it's in the, the prompt is currently um, press enter to continue uh, and then use the and then we use the following menu options. So I push enter. So now we use the direction key to center the ob center whatever star it is we want in the field of view. So you can see I can move these around. The telescope goes up and down, left and right. The finder is on. The little finder scope is right here. It's got a red dot. So what I'm going to do is position myself in a way back behind the scope where I can see the red dot. There it is. And there's Polaris. So now I'm going to scoot it over so that the red dot is over Polaris. And now it is. And then I'm going to hit the enter key. What that does is it changes the speeds of these motors to a guide mode. So now when I push the arrow buttons, it goes a lot smaller. Now what I have to do is look in the eyepiece and center that star in the eyepiece. So now let me, let me do that. And then I hit the align button. Okay. Spend as much time as you can getting that centered because the better you do, the more accurate it'll be. So now it's, now it's saying center object two in the finder scope. Now you don't even have to know that was Polaris. You just know that that's a star. So I'm going to pick one of the stars in the Big Dipper, one of the, the pointer stars. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there. I'm going to scan over there now. And I'm looking behind the telescope till I see the red dot. And I'm moving it. I don't know, I'll use the forward star and the pointer stars of the Big Dipper. You don't, you don't have to even know what this is. Okay, there. Now the red dot is over one of the pointer stars. I look in here 
and I oh I hit enter and now I see the star in there and now I align it center it in the eyepiece and then I hit the align button now I have two stars in here and now I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna pick something in Cassiopeia so let me let me just scooch over here la 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 fast forwarding this part I have to get this light out of my face so I can see where Cassiopeia is. Okay, I'm getting close. Where's my red dot? There it is. I'm going to pick the middle star in the W of Cassiopeia. You, of course, don't even have to know this. You just have to know a star. Now I have the red dot over that star. Hit enter. And let me center it in the eyepiece. I see all the sky glow from that light from the video getting it centered in the eyepiece and then I hit align boom now it's skylines going the little thing is twirling around and it's figuring out what I just told it and it's going and going please wait match confirmed boom we are now aligned with the night sky now let's go ahead and tell it to find something. Now that it's tracking the sky, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just, I hit deep sky and then I hit named objects. And since I'm already looking around the area of Cassiopeia, I'm going to pick the double cluster. So I hit double cluster and push enter. Off it goes. And there it is. The double cluster in Perseus. It's very amazing. It's amazing that I can even see it with the light right there. So that's how you use Skyline. Now, one of the things you can do as the night goes on to make this more accurate is you can use a sync function. So let's say we're looking at the double cluster right now, but it's a little off center. What we can do is go ahead and hit the back button all the way until we get to the, to, to the next star SE, uh, uh, the next star SE top button. And then we hit the align button and we can sync it. If we, if we scroll down, you can, you can hit uh, the sync button. And when you hit sync, it says, go ahead and center the double cluster in the, uh, in the field of view using the, the, the buttons. And, and once it get in the finder, once you've got it in the finder, go ahead and hit enter. But what I do is I just get it centered in the eyepiece a little bit better, hit enter, and then hit align. And what that does is it says it's synced to the double cluster now. That means that it's a, it's a little bit more accurate than it was before. Now if I slow, if I said I want to see the Orion Nebula, which is over here, Orion Nebula's right behind me now, then I could say go to M42, and it goes over there. And if it's off just a little bit, what I can do is center it back in the field of view, in the center of the field of view, sync it to the Orion Nebula, and now it's just a little bit more accurate than it was a while ago. And so the more you do that throughout the night, the more accurate this thing gets. So that's a little tip for trying to make it as you go, as you go through the night. <laughs> All right, well, I hope this works. Um, this is a very nice little telescope. That is. Uh, sky Align is very easy to use. It's not difficult at all. Um, it's just a matter of telling it where three bright things are. You don't even have to know what they are. And it will, you, once you've done that, you find the first one, hit enter. You find the first one in the, in, the, in the finder scope, you hit enter. Then you center it in the eyepiece, you hit align. Go find something else in the finder scope, hit enter. Go and center it in the eyepiece, hit align. Go find a third thing in the, in the finder scope, hit enter. And then uh, center it in the uh, eyepiece, hit align, and you're done. And you've done a, and you don't even have to know what, anything about the night sky to make that happen. So uh, it's really handy. It's good for beginners, and it takes about. Well, if you pick, and I picked a big triangle in one area of the sky. You saw it took me maybe uh, just a few minutes to do. So it wasn't that difficult. And uh, you know, now I'm ready to go observing after I get this light off. <laughs> All right. So back inside. All right, well, I hope this video has helped you use Skyline. It's really not that hard to set up. As you saw, it was just a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the description box below, and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. Anyway, this video was made possible by OPT Telescopes, a world leader in telescopes and accessories for both amateur and professional astronomers. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, and as always, keep looking up.